Hello IT people, more and more I hear about Xeon's version 3, that you can forget about LGL 2011 first and second generation, and about whole X79 platform, because you already have X99 from AliExpress. In that video we will review one of the CPUs on X99 platform, to be precise, Intel Xeon E5 2620 version 3. Lyrical degradation from my side, in my opinion, platform X99 is still pretty expensive, for instance, that CPU for me was 45 euro, but now it costs 30 euro, which is okay. Plus, you need the four memory sticks and motherboard, they are expensive. You can take, let's say, E52667, which I made video about, and whole platform on X79. It costs so much less and showing a nice results, but to be sure, I should compare it first. Let's review technical specification that CPU from official Intel's website. CPU based on Haswell architecture has 6 cores and 12 threads, stock clock is 2.4 and boost 3.2, and for all cores 2.6 GHz, which is not cool I think, I mean boost for all cores is only 200 MHz, TDP is low 85 watts, CPU is not hot and simple cooler would be enough, cache level 3 is 15 MB, CPU does not have unlocked multiplier, which means you can't overclock it on motherboard from AliExpress, and the therefore memory up to 1866 MHz, working only with with that clock and it's set. I can't use higher memory frequency, at least on my motherboard. For me, this is a big minus because even the dead 3 ECC rack can easily reach 1866 MHz on platform X79 from AliExpress and costs so much less at the same time. Here is clearly C2 minuses. For same money, we have a low clock for all cores. For example, 2667 can reach 3.2 for all cores without any problems. And the second, as I said before, is memory RAM. The D4 has a big price and it can work only on a very low frequency. We have a following test stand, 16 gigs of the D4 memory RAM for quad channel mode, working on 1866 MHz. Motherboard on X99 from AliExpress, LGA 2011 version 3, graphic card AMD RX 15700 XT, from MSI company model Mac OC in a stock. All games I will run from SSD storage, video recorded by using video capture card so no any impact on the final FPS. First game on our test is Witcher 3, and yeah, it does not load CPU well, but inside the tower it can, all settings on Ultra and Full HD including Hairworks. And at the start on market we have a loadings actually, CPU loads up to 50%, but no any big problems here. As a result we have 56 minimum and 78 FPS in our age, which is a good I believe, despite we have a pretty low frequency. Next game on our test is Watch Dogs 2, all settings on Ultra and Full HD resolution, and inside this game uh, the status feels better actually, frame time is a high bit and has pulsation, CPU loading on 70%, minimum 43 and 53 in average, which is not too much but enough for this game. The battlefield load CPU even better, seen on the tank which is the heaviest one, all settings on high and full HD resolution, DirectX 12, CPU loading very well, frame time not high, FPS graph has rarely pulsations and we have a pretty cool FPS, 133 in average and 88 minimum FPS here, which is amazing result I believe, enough for single and multiplayer game.
one more game which loves to use CPU Shadow the Tomb Raider, all on high and DirectX 12. In this time I will not go on the market, cause you asking me to show FPS out of the market. And here's everything is cool, rarely pulsations we have yeah but frame time is nice and low, game is pretty responsive. In average 74 and 51 FPS minimum, you can play and finish game like that. Last game on our test is Metro Exodus, although this game does not demand top CPU and prefers to use graphic card, you asking me to including that game on the test, one of the heaviest location Volga, all on high and full HD resolution. And here is uh, not high FPS actually, but stable and without any problems. Frame, time and, uh, frame graph and time convenient, CPU loading on 60%, no any lags or freezes confirmed, in average 58 and 43 minimum, which is enough for such a game. Few words about me of that CPU, but despite of his low frequency and the memory clock which is uh, can work with, we can see a not bad result. I can create comparison against 2667 based on my old video, if you want it, please let me know in the comments. CPU is not bad though, in my case it was expensive, now it has a low price. To be honest, I was surprised, I thought it would be weak, because of the low clock and memory issue, but it has a really impressive result. Thanks all for watching my video, hope it was at least useful for you, please subscribe on my channel and see you in the next one.